27 Toronto condos for $1 million. Today we're going to look at 27 Toronto condos for $1 million. Hello friends, this is Yossi, YossiKaplan.com, YorkvilleLuxuryRealEstate.com, UrbanRealtyToronto.com, all the .com in the world. All right, today what I'm going to do for you is a review. You can see all the tabs up there. I'm going to do a review of all the Toronto condos that I found that are fit to print that I really like at around the million dollar range. Slightly more, slightly less, because you know, what you ask is not what you get. So let's dive into it. This is Yossi Kaplan, Urban Toronto, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. This is my main site. Uh, you can see all the listings here. Toronto Townhomes for sale you can buy now. There's reviews, there's new construction, there's explanation of what's going on in the market, what to buy, what not to buy, some videos goes on and on and on. This site's been on for a long time. YorkVilleLuxuryRealEstate.com. This is where I'm going to post this video and pictures and information plus links to every single property I'm showing you here. This site, I'm posting my million dollar plus properties. This is my Twitter, twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan. All the little updates, the assignments for sale, the condos for sale, the great hall for $17 million just as posted today. There's uh, two different ways to look at this listing. Goes on and on and on. Um, <clears throat> post that I put out, lots of assignments, condos for sale, videos, it's all here on Twitter. Okay, and this is the YouTube channel you're watching right now, youtube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. All right, um, in order to find 27 Toronto condos for sale for a million dollars, what I did is I went to yossi.searchrealty.co, which is my listing site, and I put in Toronto, Toronto, Ontario, and then the beds I live at zero, doesn't matter. Bath, I put one just to make sure no if a commercial listing or whatever was uh, mis, uh, mis put in the system just to make sure it's got a bathroom and I put the price 995 to 1.2 okay so that's to me is like around the million dollar range I tagged apartment condo cut apartment condo townhouse there's another condo townhouse here uh, there's also a freehold townhouse you can see down here now there's about 30 more in the system but I'm just looking at the condos right now Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and then we can look at the listings either by clicking on any of these here or already pre open the tabs I want to talk about. So let's start with 27 Toronto condos for sale, $1 million. Okay, the first property we're going to look at is this one here, is 90 Sherbourne, in 102. So this is at uh, Sherbourne and uh, Adelaide. It's an older building that went through renovation years ago, probably like almost 20 years ago. And this is the listing. It's a unique place. This is a real hard loft. Very few of them, thank you. Very few of them are uh, available. There's my friend Jeff at the coffee shop. This is a beautiful space, large space. That's what 1.2 million gets you at 90 Sherborne. So you can walk to work. You can have your friends, maybe your creative type, maybe your banker. They like kind of the warmth of the loft. Really, really nice. Okay. Uh, if you want more information, the link to this property, this is the link here, and all the properties will be posted below that video. I'll post all of them. I'm also going to make a post, post the links on YouTube and make a post on YorkVilleLuxuryRealEstate.com, this site here, with all the properties that I'm talking about. Okay, I think this is the link. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do we got here? We got 1,400 square feet, so that's under uh, 1,000 a foot, which is really nice. Two bedroom, two bathroom. You can see here. The listing, it is very nice. Okay, hard loft, high ceilings, very unique property. Okay, 26 to go. <laughs> uh, this is A Charlotte, 18, 1806, asking 1.188. Uh, a Charlotte is one of the Brad Lamb Lamb development buildings. Uh, very, very nice. Pictures here are not the best. Uh, listing agents, not always good or technical, but you can see what it looks like. I've been in this building many times. It looks really nice. Uh, presentation not that great. Uh, it does have a balcony. It's a two bed, two bath, 1,023 square feet. It's got parking and two lockers. Okay, sunny southeast corner, city lake and views. Very nice property. A Charlotte, 1806. If you want to book a show into any of these properties, just hit the request here. Click the date. Hit a request. I didn't select the date. There you go. Want to see it here? Hit request, and I'm gonna get that email right away. Call you. And uh, make sure everything's cool. Come and get you to see it. Okay, so a, a Charlotte, that's King of Spadina. Nice building. They have a baby. Maybe the baby is growing. They need a bigger place. It's all good. Okay, the next one is 88 Blue Jays. 88 Blue Jays, unit 2208. That's Bisha. Bisha Condos. Um, 
very nice unique property a lifestyle building you know this is this is one of a kind it's a lifestyle building it's kind of a nightclub ish design to a condo like just over the edge over the top I like it not for everyone the prices are pretty high here um, but the quality is really nice the location is uh, just south of King at uh, uh, Peter there there you go let's have a quick look that's a lovely unit spacious unit it's high enough got some views got some light nice bathroom nice and clean that's good so that's the 22nd floor at Bisha 88 Blue Jays Way asking 1.169 two bed two bath uh, just under a thousand square feet so you can see certain buildings will have a higher dollar per foot higher PSF higher dollar per foot asking and uh, the way to, to estimate is to look at the size here and divide the price asking by the size now if you don't know the size just take the average so the average between 999.99 is 950 <laughs> okay so there you go um, so over a thousand a foot for this one all the information is here okay if you want to see there's parking just scroll down and it'll give you all the information monthly association with your condo fees the property taxes this the annual divide by 12 to get the monthly and it's got one parking spot okay for any more information either book a showing or send me an email right from here request the info and I'll get your email I'll respond to you right away or you can call me this is a, a cell number you can text or call or you can call the office if this doesn't answer and answer me she won't come by all right moving to Young and Bloor, 1 Bloor Street East. So that's at the southeast corner of Young and Bloor. Uh, this building is uh, is hitting the waves. That's the Great Gulf. Okay, so these are the views that you're looking at straight down Young Street, straight down to CN Tower. Nice modern condo, recently finished. And that's what you're getting for 1.15. 1. 1. 1159. One Blue Street East, uh, 67th floor, 67th floor. Now this unit is one bed and two bath, so it's a smaller unit, so the dollar per foot is higher up, which tends to be because you're number one on the subway line, number two, you got the One Blue East address, uh, high floor, good views, all these push the, the relative price up. The way I think of a uh, dollar per foot is kind of like you think of a PE ratio, you know, in the stock market. Um, okay, so the PE ratio is basically, it's kind of like the PSF, it's, 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 the, it's the value, the perceived value of a stock. If each condo is one unique stock, then that's perceived value as the PSF, kind of like the PE ratio, okay? So some companies sell it five times the PSF, at 20 times, at 100 times, whatever it is. Si similar way to, to, to look in the information. 285 Mutual, this is Radio City Condos, Radio City Condos, 285 with the North Tower. By the way, the picture here is the South Tower. Okay, uh, nonetheless, the unit is really nice. Uh, this building was completed uh, 10 or 12 years ago. So the units are larger, they're more open, you get a lot more space in these units because, you know, as time goes by, the units shrink. We used to get a unit, you know, for two bedroom, it would be 1,200 square feet or 1,000 square feet. Now it's 600 square feet or 500 square feet for two bedrooms. So this is perhaps a little older, um, but it's well maintained, looks great. Obviously, I see some pot lights, some new flooring, uh, some nice ceiling uh, lights there. So they've, they've done a good work of maintaining and upgraded the unit uh, throughout the years. So just a few more pictures here. Nice kitchen. That is definitely not the original kitchen. Okay, so they they spend that that's that's big spend. The original kitchens were very very different. That's gorgeous. That's very nice. Nice large bedroom. You don't get that anymore. Beautiful tub. This is a proper unit. Ah, ah, very very nice. This is looking east because I recognize uh, Jarvis below. Okay, that is very nice, kind of in-out space. Love it. That is the gym. I'm going to go back to the main. Okay, so here you get 20, 285 Mr. Street, unit 2302. Uh, I'm not sure if it's the penthouse floor. It could be. 1,300 square feet, stunning views. 200 square feet combined of two balconies. Possible gas barbecue hookup. 
island. Nice kitchen. Uh, 1.159 for this unit. Very, very nice. Okay. And the next one we're looking at is 95 Bathurst. 95 Bathurst Street, unit 14059. 95 Bathurst and 650 King are, be, they belong in the same uh, project called 650 King. So when Freed, Peter Freed, Freed Developments uh, build these two, these two addresses are connected underground and overground with a little uh, uh, walking tunnel. So it's it's the same project, but it's separate. It's a separate building. So this is the Bathurst building, and there's a King building. Okay, so now we're at King West, a King and Bathurst. So let me show you a couple of pictures here. That would be uh, what you see at the back there. That's 700 King across the street where they got the big clock tower. Yeah, so that is a very nice unit. That is absolutely beautiful, beautiful unit. Um, I know this unit, I've been in it. The views are very, very good. I think this unit will go, I think it represents a very good value here. This is, this will be top of my list. If I were looking for a downtown or King West condo for the million dollar range, this would be definitely top of my list. Uh, here you're looking south and slightly east. So that's the new Thompson and Lavelle at the top there. Okay, and to the left at the bottom, that's 650 King, that's the, uh, yeah, that's 650 King, so that's next door, okay. Here we're looking south, so that's Bathurst, looking straight south, so you're looking at uh, Niagara Street there, 60 Niagara, and uh, 38 Niagara, and the other Thompson, the greenish foam. Okay, that's the King building, Brioche Doré, the French cafe, it's very nice. Uh, it's here in the top left, that's uh, 95 Bathurst. Okay, so that's 95 Bathurst. Uh, one of the nicest units on the market right now, asking 115, getting 1405. Um, it's over a thousand square feet. It's got two bedroom, two bathroom. Uh, let me show you here, $615 a month condo fees and taxes 4,000 divided by 12, it's three something. Okay, not bad. If you wanted to estimate how much would it cost you this unit if you were to buy for cash and just have to pay the fixed cost, which is the condo fees, the maintenance, and the uh, taxes, um, a good way to do it, the way I do it is rule of thumb, is take $1 per square foot, okay? So if I got about 1,000 square feet here or 1,100 square feet here, I take $1,000, $1,100 per foot per month, and that's my running cost, my fixed cost, uh, without the mortgage, okay? So there you go. So, uh, top of my list right here, 95 Bathage, only 1405-115, goodbye. Uh, another 115, and not too far, 400 Wellington Street West, unit 707. So, Wellington is coming up, there's a couple of large buildings coming to Wellington, they're not built yet, but they will be soon. Uh, one is by Brad Lamb, and the uh, other, you know, the old Sea Lounge just got demolished the other day, I think it's on my Twitter, I shot a little video of it, this is really cool. Okay, so this 400 Wellington, must be a wallpaper, very, very nice design. That is absolutely beautiful. That is a nice space to live. Uh, uh, good taste for the design, whoever did this. It's nice and simple. It's happy. Uh, the bathroom, there's a little tucked away there. Good unit design. There you go. Some more wallpaper. Some uh, deer like horns above the toilet. <laughs> you never know what you're going to find. Very nice unit. Okay. Let me see if there's any. Uh, there's a little balcony here, but they don't show us the view. There is the view. Oh, that's not bad. That is a very, very nice view from 400 Wellington, back to the beginning, okay? So that's also King West, unit 707. Uh, this is a two bedroom, two bath, over a thousand square feet, asking 115. The next is 11499, so just $100 shy of 115, 438 King Street, unit 1313. I've shown this unit uh, last week in a video, it just came on the market. This unit is really beautiful. It's got a very large terrace, as you can see. You can host 30 people here easily. And um, you're right at King Spadina. So this unit is great. It's, it's really designed to host 
people. You can see large couches, giant island, large uh, sofas, large bed. Everything's big here. So this is fantastic. Okay. Here is your terrace. That's the party right there. That's the corner. King of Spadina. Here's the lobby. That is really cool. A little uh, inner courtyard. Okay. 438 King Street West, 1313 11499. Good one. Okay, we are off to uh, going east to Carlo and uh, Queenish. 233 Carlo Avenue, unit 704, asking 1149. So, you know, 149,000 plus a million. Uh, the ultimate stylish designer, Leslie Love, for stunning city skyline views. Brand new gourmet kitchen with island high top city and creamy white plain cargo floors. Very, very wide open concept. This is true. Those, those, those wide open concepts are barely seen uh, in Toronto, sadly, but that will make some more. More, and it's approximately 1,286 square feet as per builder. Two bedroom, two bathroom. Let's take a quick look. Uh, so this is nice. This is a listing that starts with the outdoor space. It looks long and narrow. Definitely clearing some views. It's uh, slightly of a commercial view there, but I like it. That's kind of the old Toronto. It used to be all warehouses. Nice entrance. Coming up, 233, the Garment Factory. I sold these condos many, many years ago. It was a rainy, rainy weekend. And uh, I was I was in the team that originally sold these condos. I personally signed some like 15 contracts over that weekend. And that was by hand. We wrote them all by hand. Okay, here is your main room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 It's good. So I'm, I'm moving quick here. I'm like, I'm not talking too much, but I'm absorbing all the information. I think it's very nice. I like the plank. Those hardwood floors are nice. That's a large room. Um, very wide and open. Everything is white, including the ceiling. It's not concrete. It's kind of nice because it gives us more of an airy feel. Uh, some more shot of the outside here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're back. Very good. So this was... <clears throat> 233 Carlo, the Garment Factory, 1149, uh, Clean and Carlo. Goodbye. Uh, by the way, that's a two bed, two bath, and it's 1286 square feet, so under a thousand feet. And if you want to see the condo fees and the taxes, I'm always curious. 883 and 445. The reason it's a little higher here because the unit is larger. Okay? So that's what happens. Okay, this is 485 Logan. This has not been built yet, so this would be either an assignment or from the developer. I'm not sure, but I can uh, find out for you. Uh, this is Elevate at Logan, 485 Logan. This is also Queen East. Uh, here they're packing two bed and three bats into, um, doesn't say exactly, but we'll, we'll, we'll game it as at uh, average 1,100 square feet. Okay, they enter the association fee 360 and the tax is 7,000. They'll probably uh, average out a bit. Okay, but very nice unit. Um, I've seen the floor plans for these units. Uh, there are a few for sale. So if you're interested in 45 Logan, this is pre construction. It's a good investment. Give me a shout. I got the price list as of uh, uh, this week, this month, and I'm happy to share with you. 485 Logan Avenue, unit 312. Unique building, mostly large units, mostly uh, owner occupied, so that's good because you won't find a lot of renters, which means units are moving slower, which means higher resale values for you. Uh, okay, this is a good one. 88 Scott, um, hard to find units in this building, recently uh, completed, and that's right financial district. This is uh, just east of Young, uh, St. Lawrence Market. Financial district. Uh, here we got two bed, two bath. It's a smaller unit. It's under a thousand square feet, so the price is about eleven to twelve hundred a foot. But then what happens as you get closer to the subway? Um, okay. Private lounge. Yeah, the amenities are at the top. It's got a uh, parking and locker. Five fifty seven association fee. Uh, tax probably not assessed yet. Let's take a quick look into this unit. This looks gorgeous. 
very nice and clean and white, just like Yossi likes it. I also love these Mediterranean blues, white, blue, and a touch of uh, gold, or like a yellowish gold, it's perfect. Lost my internet here, I don't know if you can see that. Let me go back. Mm. Nice design. Even the part lights uh, are in the right color. The, the track light. This is really good. It's got a balcony. Very nice. All modern. Super clean. Very, very nice. Moving on here. That's the building. It's new. And there's a floor plan coming up, lobby. That's the top 46 floor, something like that, where the um, amenities are. So you can like, hang out in your private club, entertain your guests, and look over the city. Here's another shot of it. Maybe you have your meeting here. And here's the unit. You can see it's a really nice unit. Two bedrooms on two opposite sides. Each bedroom has an ensuite. Uh, nice and large kitchen dining area and uh, a living area plus a balcony. Very efficient user space. So that's a good unit. Okay. So this is uh, 88 Scott Street, right downtown. Uh, even 1.1 million. Two bed, two bath, under a thousand square feet, about $1,200 a foot. I think that's a very, very good uh, something to look at, especially if you're looking to rent to an executive. Okay. Next, 224 King Street West. So this is across from Murray Thompson Hall. That's another land development building. Brad has done very well, built some interesting stuff. This is actually the entrance. It's kind of got this big egg inside. And this is what the building looks like. So it's very interesting. This is the unit, entrance to the unit. Uh, these lines, you'll see are the decorative lines on the outside of the building. Okay. Um, Lamb development has a style of more lofty style. They leave the ceilings are unfinished. Uh, that's what you get. Uh, the concrete uh, pillars are unfinished. The planks are wide. Very lofty style, kind of European style. You can see here. The finishes at 224 King are very good. I've been in this uh, building many times. Uh, they've used high-end materials, high-end finishes. The kitchens are good. It, 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 it's a notch above. Okay, so these are these are good units. I've been to most of the units in this building, and I really like it. I think if you're looking to rent to executives, or you are an executive, you need to be downtown. <coughs> you fly a lot. You got a lot of meetings. You got crazy hours. That's a very good option. Okay, it's got a gas kitchen too. So I'll show you a few more pictures. Nice balcony there. Classy, classy bathroom. So they packed a lot into the space. And to top it all off, you got this great view, Roy Thompson Hall, right below you. Okay. Nice bed. Just enough room for everything. Proper walk-in closet. That is, that is just, that's it, I'm sold. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got an it's got a outdoor pool. I believe it's on the seventh floor facing south, facing onto King. You're basically swimming and looking at uh, Roy Thompson. So that's 224 King West, unit 2403. It's a two bed, two bath. The next one, uh, we're gonna go to Liberty Village now and look at the lofts at 5 Hannah Avenue. When they came out, we used to call them 17 foot lofts. <clears throat> it says 19 foot soaring ceilings. Uh, maybe they're 19, I remember them 17, maybe they grew. <laughs> it's 1190 square feet, so 1200 square feet, so under 1000 a foot. Large unit, very spacious, um, kind of tucked away in the behind the commercial area of Liberty Village, so quite private. Although very close to everything, you can see still like all the uh, commercial buildings, mostly media companies and computer companies. What used to be artist lofts are now computerized digital art lofts. So here's here's your corner. It's a nice corner unit large and spacious that is very nice if you work from home or like to entertain or maybe you have kids uh, this could work this could definitely work and you basically just a nice kitchen here you can just uh, walk to king street walk to queen walk to queen west go to liberty village go to trinity bellwoods it's got a den the office good views 
good balcony. That is the building from the south looking northeast. Okay, so that's 5 Hannah Avenue and it's 739, uh, 1.098, so 1.1 uh, for this two story, two bedroom, two bath, really, really nice loft. Uh, let's look at a, at a townhouse now. And this town is a six Wellesley place. So just so you know, we basically at Young Wellesley here. Okay, and this is very classic, traditional. I like it a lot. I like this style a lot. European style, nicely done. Two story. Uh, traditional inside also sometimes mean uh, smaller windows and obviously they have a lot of stuff in here so it may not show perfectly well but you can see that the space is very good. Okay, it's also a bit of an older place, so you can see by the block appliances that at the time were like top of the line. But you know, if you ever need to replace an appliance, it doesn't really cost much. If you need renovations, let me know. We can always help you with the renovation. We have a team that does fantastic renovation. You can see the last video I put out on the Queen West Renault that we did. Uh, nonetheless, this is a proper kitchen. It's got a U-shaped kitchen, which is the most efficient kitchen for cooking. Also takes the least amount of space and gives it the more, most amount of work, workspace, elbow space. Bedroom, 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 bathroom, going up. Uh, this is kind of a den slash attic slash workroom, library. That's what they've done with it. And a little patio. Life is always better with a bit of fresh air, especially if you don't have to leave. It's just like go upstairs. So there you go. Six Wellesley Place. Very nice. Okay. And this thing also is a two bath, two bath, multi level, and this will run you 1.098. 1 million, 100,000, less $2,000. That's the asking price on this one. Uh, up to 1555 Avenue Road, unit 504. Looking at 1.095 million. Three bed, three baths, and larger space over about 1,300 square feet. Okay, so here you get more value for your money, more do more square footage for your dollar. Okay, rare two-story, three-bedroom plus. <coughs> then penthouse in Bedford Glen, sought for lush gardens and koi pond. So there you go, and it's a multi-level. It's got a fireplace. Another uh, more traditional look. Nice space, works well, beautiful kitchen, large appliances, lots of cooking possible here. Everything is built in, everything is done well. Look at the stairs, look very nice to me. Good fan, everything looks very, very nice. Here's an attic bedroom, the bedroom, the room, that's my room. Okay, some bath. And a little bit of uh, fresh air space, just enough to hang out in the city. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that's the back. Pretty good, huh? So you can find you can find finds anywhere in the city, Bedford Glen. Okay, so you can find good finds anywhere in the city, and sometimes those come in a new building, in an older building, over there, over there. But the most important thing is to be open-minded because you never know what you're gonna find. Maybe someone took an old unit and made it look really amazing, or it's a new unit is amazing. Uh, but here is definitely you get more bang for your buck. Uh, one thing to check is always check on condo fees, and as I suspect, they're a little higher here. Uh, the maintenance fees are higher because it's probably an older building with less units, which each are larger. Okay, so when the units are large, uh, usually the condo fees are higher because condo fees are dollar per square foot. If you have less units in the building, all our units, they'll be a little more high because you need to collect more money from everyone to get all the services rendered that you need for the condo. So this is what it is. Okay, uh, jumping back downtown, 88. So that's uh, another b shell listing. Let me see if there's any pictures of the actual unit. Okay, so there's no photos of the actual unit here. Uh, nonetheless, I can probably get some if you like. That's unit 2409 at Bisha, 88 Blue Jays Way. Asking 1.088 at 88 Blue Jays Way. There's a bit of a game here. Uh, two bed, two bath, over 900 square feet. Okay. I'll probably pull a, a, a floor plan for you. If you like, just give me a shout and I'll do it for you. So I'll move on to the next one. 80 John. 80 John is a 
festival tower. When that building came up, it was like a huge deal. Uh, everybody was very excited about festival. It's got theaters in it. It's got a uh, Bell Light Box, which is the commercial portion where Bell Canada gave the money to call it Bell Light Box. You know how it is. And this is a really nice uh, unit. I've been in this unit before it got cleaned and uh, ready for listing. It's a very nice unit. The bedrooms are on opposite ends. Uh, you're looking south to King. It's got a balcony. Uh, it's got tons and tons of light. It's a very good unit. Just move in. And that's a very good value for your million bucks today in Toronto. This would be also on my top list. Uh, first of all, it has crazy amenities, movie theater, lobbies with Wi-Fi, workroom with Wi-Fi. It has a giant library. Really cool, actually. Also, with everything, we've got Wi-Fi. It's got a, uh, lots of outdoor space. That's the bar. It's kind of an uh, area bar, neighborhood bar for the building itself. So it could be used as a party room, but it's fully equipped as a restaurant. Um, that is the amen the amenities, which is the, plu the pool, the jacuzzi, and the gym on top. And the big stairs come here where you can see all the movie stars come. You can actually see them from the balcony of 1503. Okay, here's the gym. Here's the gym. It's got, it's got personal trainers and everything in there. It's very organized. It's well maintained and managed, this building. And that's uh, 80 John in 1503, 1.86. Uh, it's... 1,001 <laughs> square feet split floor plan, which means the bedrooms are on opposite sides. Okay, it's got a balcony, and I think it's got parking too. The monthly fees are 996. Property tax is 4645 for the year, divided by 12 for the monthly, plus park parking spot. Very, very nice. Good one. And the amenities are phenomenal in this building. Okay, um, Yorkville, 128 Paris Avenue. Uh, this building has always done well, sold well. A lot of owner occupied here. Nice clean unit on pairs. Uh, it's a nice bath. Some common areas. These are renders. Uh, lazy agents use renders. Good agents take pictures. Uh, nonetheless, this is an expensive per foot. It's one bed, two bath, uh, 700 something, 774 square feet. Okay, so per foot, it's an expensive building. Uh, but 120 pairs is an expensive building per foot. Whoever invested here at the beginning did really well. But you can still do well here if you get the right unit at the right price. And you can see down here, there are other units on the system in the same building you can explore. The system will offer you. Uh, when you scroll down, similar properties. It's going to try and like find things that match your interest. Okay, uh, let's go to 77 Avenue Road, built a few years ago. So this is uh, also Yorkville. Now this got the carpet, so it's a bit older. You want to rip the carpet, put nice floors. Once again, if you're looking for innovations, let me know and I, I can put you in touch with some of the best people in town that can do anything from build a ten million dollar home or a condo or a commercial or make sure that your renovation for your million dollar unit is perfect okay so here you're buying the location and the space now these are you know older 80s styles 90s style maybe maybe newer but that's kind of the style of lacquered cabinets but what you buy here is space okay so you may want to give it a bit of a lick but if you like the space and if you like where it is and if you like uh, the style in the building, that you buy this one for 1.048, so 1,048,000, 77 Avenue Road, Unit 615, and it's about 1,000 square feet. So if you want to be here, that's the place for you. And then you can just give it a bit of a lick, cosmetic update, and you're good to go. Uh, this is a really cool building, 15 Beverly, so just north of Queen on the east side, on the right side of Beverly as you face north, you go up the street. And it's got, it's got uh, called the 15 degrees, 15 Beverly, 15 degrees. Every floor is a little twisted and turned, uh, which makes all the units very unique. So take a look at this one here. Really, really cool. Nice design. Very white, all built in, contemporary to the bone. 
got some views, it's got some neighbors, very modern, but that's what you get when you live like at, right at Queen Street. Wow, look at this. Very, very clean. It's also a newish building, just a couple years old, I believe. It's got a gym, it's got a nice uh, party room here, lounge, common room, whatever you want to call it, place to sit, and it's got a lovely uh, rooftop, common rooftop lounge, and a little pool. Very, very nice touch. So that's where you are, 15 Beverly, uh, Queen, just west of University, and much east of Spadina. The location is phenomenal. Uh, you're right in the mayhem. I mean, you, you can walk to UFT or Chinatown or Financial District literally in minutes. Um, but it's kind of a, a quiet ish little pocket. Two bed, two bath, 900 plus square feet, 1,029,500. That's what they're asking. 15 Beverly, unit 608. Okay, 297 College. That's uh, one of the newer buildings, and that's College and Spadina on the South South College, so it's got uh, it's got one of the Loblaws uh, City Market brand or whatever they're called uh, on the second floor. It's a new build, recently completed. So let's take a quick look and see what it looks like on the inside for this unit. That's a nice sky-like uh, poster or paint or wallpaper. Very nice contemporary kitchen, all built in. Some shelves at the corner there. That's that's very smart. Lots of shelving space, even above the bed. Nicely done, white, wood, and more white. European, Scandinavian style. Okay, there you go. And nice, some outdoor space. I like the colors. So here's some outdoor space for you. That's a good outdoor space. That's a nice terrace, my friends. That doesn't come often. Okay, here's the building, if you recognize it. Yeah, it is called City Market, and it's right on College. Uh, you know where all the computer stores are, a few left, not too many. Um, and we're looking uh, into the building. Here's the common area, and back to the unit. Okay, so nice unit, 999, so just under a million asking, two bath, two bath, smaller unit. With all the hookups, is at 1108. Okay, uh, 1102, but I'm not sure why you would say 8 to 899 and then 1102. So maybe the agent including the, um, the balcony, or maybe there's a mistake either on this number, 1102, or on this number. I can find out if you like, not a problem. Uh, 297 College Street, unit 1602. Very, very nice unit. 999, 355, so that's uh, King Blue, these two buildings here, you're in 5107, so you're way up in the sky here. Um, it's not real pictures of the unit. Lazy agents don't take pictures, I tell you. Uh, nonetheless, this is the penthouse. It's a three bedroom, 1,010 square feet. So it's a three bedroom. They're smaller bedrooms because you gotta, you gotta shove a lot uh, in the floor space. Nonetheless, floor place is, the floor plan is good, it's efficient. Uh, it's facing east, you can see at the bottom here where the arrow uh, is facing north and we are to the right, so that's facing east. Okay, here we go. Okay, a couple more and we're done. One any University Shangri-La 999 in the 2702. This is a one plus one. So Shangri-La commands high dollar per foot. Let's see what you get for your money here. So this is a nice open space. I've been in this unit and I've sold one of them already in the past, at least a couple. So these are nice units. They actually make a lot of sense. They have a very good use of space. Kitchens are large. Everything's big at the Shangri-La. So even the one bedroom is, is very spacious. And everything is done properly. There's electronics in the showers, like all the bells and whistles. I don't even know about when I walked in here the first time. There you go. And the views are good. Okay. And this is 27th floor. One bedroom, one bath at the Shangri-La for 999. Okay, 998, 43 Hava Avenue. This is another um, loft at Liberty Village. And you can see it's really nicely done. Okay, 
So I'll run you. This getting a little noisy here in the cafe. So I'll just run you through the rest, and uh, we'll be done in a minute. Uh, I really like that uh, light fixture, and it's commercial because that's the that's the uh, adaptation. It's a really a hard loft. You can see it's got the fire suppression system. It's only in commercial units. The way the way it's situated, but it, it is a it is a conversion. That's why they did it. Okay, very nice. Cool pictures too. Yeah, I really love the pictures here. Nice sliding door. Nice sliding door, kind of a barn door. So that's 43 Hannah, toy factory. Two bedrooms, two bath, over a thousand square feet, 12 foot ceiling, and almost 1200 square feet of open space. Seven and a half feet, Silverstone Island, da da da. There you go. So, very good value, uh, just under a million for 1200 square feet. Okay, I got four more here to reach 27. 530 Indian Grove. So, now we go into the west end towards High Park, and it's a beautiful unit. Modern style with a walk up, lots of green outside, very natural look to this unit, which warms the heart. Nice uh, light fixtures and very nice choice of cabinetry, kitchens, and closures for the fridge, double fridge. Look at this light fixture, really nice. Okay, it's cool, it's very, very cool. Lots of nice little finishes and touches. Okay, so that's 1.2 million. Uh, that's a ground floor uh, unit, 107. A walk up, and there it is. There's there's a tour, a video tour, there, photo maps, review, everything you need. If you need more information, just go back. The link below. Another 1.2, 1.99001 market. Okay, so we're back at Lawrence Market. Welcome to Market Wharf, for Kenneth Hardison Lawrence Market. And that is a two bed, two bath, under a thousand square feet. <coughs> it's a beautiful corner unit. It's very important to buy a corner unit if you're going to spend a million bucks because you want the most amount of light and the most amount of return on your investment. And people love to pay more for light. People love to pay more for space. And they would pay for the views. And we got some views here. So this is also a good opportunity for investment. Very nicely done. That's a crazy view. Look at this. Okay. Market Wharf. Very close to the banks. If you need to work at the towers, you can come here. I got two more. Uh, 11 Charlotte. So that's another land development building, which is not that sharp. I'm not sure if I showed this one before, but uh, this is a lovely building. Uh, 11 Charlotte, so this is King of Spadina, fantastic building, they've done a really good job here, it's also very modern land development style, it's a two bed, two bath, um, thousand square feet more or less, sorry, three bed, so if you need a three bed in town, now they're going to be squished in, but that's what you get, you're right downtown, King of Spadina, <coughs> excuse me, that's what you get for 1.2 million, and uh, the last one I got on the list here, same price, one, one. 99 so 1.2 million 87 peter and this is the penthouse penthouse 111 luxury banky stuff for penthouse two bed two bath corner unit okay it's a smaller unit but the dollar per foot is higher because it's a penthouse because of the views because it's got higher ceiling so on and so forth okay done very nice all in white so you just bring color by by your furniture what you put on the wall so on and so forth that's what you do and here's the unit it's spacious the location is fantastic if you need a new unit, everything's new, in a good building from an excellent developer with the view of the CN Tower, you can just come here. If you need more information about this unit or any other unit, and come on, you get to see the CN Tower from your bed. That's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, and if you need any more information about this unit or any other, just give me a shout. Yossi Kaplan, UrbanRealtyToronto.com. YorkLuxuryRealEstate.com, where this video and the uh, descriptions and links will be posted. Twitter.com slash Yossi Kaplan and YouTube.com slash Yossi Kaplan. Thank you very much for watching. Any questions, give me a shout. That's it.